One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. What I've got here for you today is a 1984 AMC Eagle in the four-wheel drive version. It's in great shape. Um, it's a one owner car. What? What? Dad. What are you doing? Tell me you miss you. You wanted to work? You miss me? Yeah, I miss you. Really? And you wanted to work? Yeah. Daddy's proud of you. I knew pants. You should. It's funny. He wanted to come and help me take my video. My shadow's going to go through this. I'll give you a view here in a really bright light, and then I'll give you a view in a more not bright light at my dad's. It's a great car, it's very straight. There's no corrosion, anything like that. Let's show you up underneath it too. It's just a really clean, good running little car. Someone took really good care of it. I'll go up close and show you minor damage on it, and then I will Show you the interior, under the hood, and we'll go for a test drive. Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can see pictures and all kinds of stuff on my website, One Owner Car Guy. So, going up and looking close at it. I think I'm going to do it all in the light. I meant in the dark. So I came up here to my dad's. He's got a place really close to me in the middle of the trees. I figured what better place to show this basically Jeep AMC Eagle it is a sweet car I'm gonna do a once around where you can see how it looks in the different light and then we'll go up close and look at any flaws and I'm telling you there's not much to write home about I mean I guess if you wanted to paint it you could but it does look nice and I'll tell you what if you don't like talking to people about your car don't buy this one because Pretty much every time you get gas or stop at the grocery store, somebody's going to tell you a story about the one they had and such. And it is kind of cool, but just be pre-warned. Everybody digs it. Okay, I'm going to switch to a different camera now. Put in the comments below what you think. All right, so here we are. I'm going to go up close, show you anything wrong with it. There's a ding. And miscellaneous chips and dings, but that's the worst of it. Little rock chips. Overall, the clear coat has failed. And it's just kind of starting to get almost a, you can let it get a worn and patina look on the top roof here, or a hood. Sides still look good. And as far as dings go and damages, very much to talk about. I mean, it is one straight car. It sure is straight, man. That's crazy. A couple dings in here, maybe parking lot type things and wheel wells are super clean nice set of tires lots of tread underneath clean as can be the roof of course has some fading and stuff from the clear coat you see some polish that got flipped onto that all the stainless and all the trim it's in great condition and all the decals emblems if you will a little bit of separation there. Just shrunk up over time, maybe. Um, it's out of adjustment, just a little bit. Needs a little bit of adjustment. Kind of close here. A little wear there. I don't, have, I don't think it's been painted at all. I think it's original. Um, this piece, usually he's rocked out of stuff, but it's in good shape. I forgot a license plate. I'm um, showing you the back. And down the sides, man. Here's a straight machine. There is a couple door dings in here. Very small, but they're there. Scuffing and just aged paint right in here. And there is a ding. Looks like a, a broom handle fell onto the garage or something. Not sure, but that's that. That's pretty much what you got to deal with on the outside of it. All right, up here for the test drive. Thing fires right up. The clock even works. Drives and shifts really good. I got the window down to where you can hear it a bit. It's 
Sometimes the speedometer flows. There you go. Boom. We're not going no 85. We're going like maximum 450 maybe. Down shifts just like it should. Up shifts just like it should. I'm going to my doors open a little bit. I'll show you that when I get up here. There we go. I think Lily didn't close hers all the way either. Blankers, it's okay. Blankers and stuff. All good. Sorry. It's okay. And that's that, man. Back up here at my lot. I'll get down and give you an outro. I showed you under the hood. This is a clean little car that somebody is going to have a lot of fun with, number one. And like I say, number two, oh, a little shutter when you break sometimes there on the dash. Look at here. This is kind of needs to be repaired a little bit. Yeah. But it doesn't need to be repaired, but I'm showing you any flaws where you can see them. Yeehaw. New inventory, all kinds of it. Everything's being detailed. We'll leave this right here. Can you take the cameras? Okay. Basically on this door, just gotta give it a good, good and proper shut. All right, let's check out the interior and under the hood. And the interior is actually quite a treat. Look at these seats. They're absolutely gorgeous. The headrests, very sporty. Nowhere on the pedals. I believe the miles have to be pretty close to that because there's no way with this kind of wear, hardly any. Like there's 178. That's about the only damage. This little piece right here. I put a piece of tape on it. These wires, I'll show you what they go to. It's back speakers. Didn't come with them factory. Look how clean the seats, even the headliner. Clean and so rare for a wagon to be this clean on a headliner. A little vapor gets locked up inside of them and they just fall down. So, dash is in great condition. This is why the wires go back. Look at that speaker. Door panels are in great condition. However, it's missing the ashtray the covers on both sides. And, let me lock the hood. Oh, I'm under here. Oh, over here. Okay. Back seats fold down. And they are just in gorgeous condition. Um, I could take those speakers out if you don't want them. But I figured I'd leave that up to you. Need a little WD-40 on the hinge there. And I will actually, if you remind me, do that for you. If you happen to buy it. Okay. The struts need to be replaced. Get them on eBay really cheap. Let me take a picture here. Cut this up. We didn't put it back in, but I actually have the cover that goes there and stretches back to here. I'll try and get a picture with that in also. Factory spare. All the metals back here is nice. Car is not rusty. Original sticker there. A little bit of the carpet given out there, the padding on it. And like I say, you need new new struts. Other than that, we have the same beautiful seating arrangement over here. There's that down. Carpet's in good condition. Backs of the seats. Now I could miss something, but I sure am trying not to. And to get everything. So, look at the door sill place. Broken wiper, didn't need to be replaced. And, yeah, it's broken off here. Missing a part or something. And, let's see. Wow. So you got the books, and there is the covers for the what do you call it? Smoking ashtrays in the back. And there's some miscellaneous receipts in there. Two post stereo. It's pretty much the car. Oh, missing the side piece of carpet cover there. 
And let's look under the hood. Under the hood is in great condition. Even still got the insulation up top. It's starting to get weathered in areas just because it's so old. But new valve cover gasket, block, and under the hood looks great. I really do believe the miles at 78,000 or so. Um, we've driven this thing around a little here and there. And it goes right down the road, dent in your smog equipment there or what have you. But it's in great condition. Um, about that's all I can say about it, that's for sure. I don't know of any bad to necessarily say. It is an 84 again. And any questions, call me, Nathan, 406 546 8748. You can catch me anytime. Website is oneownercarguide.com. And if there's anything else you need, just give me a call and check me out on the website. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Make sure and like the video, comment, tell me something about it. Cool story, whatever. We'll talk to you.